Alright guys, it's time to talk about cordless screwdrivers. Now I picked up a couple of cordless screwdrivers for very cheap and I'm putting them through the test, but until I do that and make individual reviews on these, I want to talk about cordless screwdrivers and how they've changed over the years. And guys, I got these for cheap, by the way. There were some awesome Christmas gears at Sears, uh, you know, because they're so close to going out of business, they were just throwing stuff away. So, all right, I digress. Um, so we all remember cordless screwdrivers. I think everybody in the 90s rushed out and bought one. Um, with the advent of nickel cadmium batteries, they were able to put out a lot of juice and they were really impressive and everybody ran and got one because the commercials looked great. But the problem with nickel cadmium batteries was they had that... Um, memory effect that if you didn't completely drain the battery it would develop a memory and it would literally only take you know a, a dozen or two recharges and they were almost useless as tools and so as much as it seemed like a great idea at the time you know and we all, I, I gotta admit in the 90s everybody had at least one cordless screwdriver you know and uh and you know they ended up getting tossed in the trash because the batteries went and they weren't something you could replace easily. You weren't something you could really fix. And that was that. And we all got, you know, a really negative impression of them because of it. Nowadays, we have the wonder of lithium batteries. You know, your favorite tactical flashlights and all that use lithium batteries. These batteries are extremely powerful and they don't have that fatal flaw that the nickel cadmiums have. They don't develop a memory. In fact, lithiums are the exact opposite. Lithiums do not want to be fully drained. In fact, once you fully drain a lithium, it starts to corrode inside the battery and really can cause shorts and damage and can really do a lot of harm to the battery. So lithiums perform best when they're used a little bit and then charged. Used a little bit and then charged as opposed to a deep discharge. Now, what tool do we know of that fits that bill? The cordless screwdriver. We don't use it for heavy duty jobs. We don't use it to put in a deck. We use it for a screw here, a screw there. This is the perfect example of what lithium ion batteries excel at. And we've come to a point now where cordless screwdrivers still have a very bad reputation because of nickel cadmium batteries. And they shouldn't. I've been testing these things out, guys, and they are amazing. Now, they're not super powerful. Like I said, you're not going to build a deck. You're not going to do construction with these things. But when it comes to putting together furniture, toys, changing batteries and things like that, these things <coughs> are insanely handy. It's just, you know, like I said, the batteries last a lot longer. Lithium batteries have so much power packed into them. And... Uh, you know, nickel cadmiums were great because they let nickel cadmiums let you put out a lot of juice. They were very good at putting out high amps, which is why they became the standard for power tools, you know, for such a long time. And we just learned to deal with that memory effect. Nowadays, we have lithiums that can put out like just as many amps, but you don't have the memory. And you have that convenience of it's okay to charge it whenever you want, which is perfect for these. Um, I got two here, a four volt Craftsman. And I think what's the hammer had like four or five volt or something like that. Both very convenient. This one has a wall plug. You plug it into the wall. This one's USB. You actually plug this hammer head into USB. It is unbelievable that I can literally charge this thing with a power bank. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Run times on these are amazing. You know, I've used this thing, you know, like pull screws in and out of everything I can find in the house. I think every screw in my house has been taken in and out three times. Um testing these things out <coughs> and the run times on there are good they will definitely do dozens if not hundreds of screws you know as long as you don't put these things under high strain you don't you know force them you know you let the tool do the work they do very very well uh, once you force them they bog down and the cool thing about the lithiums is once you overdo them they just kind of shut down and uh so it kind of is kind of a little bit of protection so you don't destroy the uh the unit so yes, I've been playing with the two of these. It's just, like I said, just a little four volt. Forward reverse, that's it. Charges with a little charger in the bottom. Works great, love it. You know, it's not heavy duty by any shape. It's four volt, guys. But yes, it, you know, for toys and, and things around the house that you have to do perfect. This hammerhead has all kinds of weird extra features with, a, with an electricity detector and a wire bender and all this wire stripper. But this one, a little faster, a little more zip to it. Fantastic tool, great reviews. 
Once again, guys, it hasn't caught on. People still live in that world, and it's funny because the world of rechargeable batteries is the same. People haven't gone to rechargeable batteries like they should because they still think, ugh, rechargeable batteries are terrible. Nickel cadmiums were good for what, like 50 or 100 charges? And then they would just drop off the face of the earth. You know, you get 50 charges deep on your battery and you're down to like 50 or 30 percent. These lithiums, on the other hand, can do a thousand charges, sometimes even two thousand charges for their lifespan. So the lifespan is greatly increased. Their usability is greatly increased. Their power is there. You know, everything about the lithiums is such a huge improvement over the nickel cadmiums, especially when it comes to low amp draws like screwdrivers. So in the end, guys, if you've been biased and have avoided electronic screwdrivers because of just that bad experience you had in the 90s, you know, and that being not because of the screwdrivers, but because of the batteries, go back and look. In the age of lithium now, we have so much better stuff. I've upgraded everything in my house to lithium. My uh, hair trimmer, lithium. Why? Because it holds a battery forever. It lasts a ton longer and it doesn't get the memory. I bought a, a hair trimmer and it was a nickel cad and after a year, you know, I only use the thing, pff, what, like once a month, maybe once every three weeks, and the battery lasted like three minutes, you know, as opposed to when I started, it would get me like all the way through a haircut. You know, the lift, now I have a lithium one, pff, I don't even think I've charged it yet. <laughs> I don't even think I've charged it yet at all. You know, flashlights, all lithium, all these things, you know, have, that have come up and that were things we had bad experiences with. I switched over to lithium and just been very, very happy with the power, the output, and all that. So, in the end, you know, I've had a great experience with cordless drills. I've had a great experience with cordless tools and things around the house. All these things going to lithium has just been a good experience for me. I took the time, learned about lithium batteries, and now, you know, if you use them correctly, they do very well. They last a long time. And because the lithium batteries often are 18650 cells, you can replace them. There's plenty of people who've opened these up and there's pictures all over the internet. There's just an 18650 in there. You can literally go to the store and buy one and replace the batteries in these now because they are standard. The 18650 is very standard. And that's what you have in these. Simple, easy. They're actually serviceable. You know, before in the 90s, if you needed a nickel cadmium battery, there were always odd shaped, weird shapes, proprietary weird things. So replacing batteries in them was an, almost an impossibility. You know, and then where did you get them? We didn't have the internet. How'd you look it up? How'd you find it? Nowadays, I can walk on the internet, buy a new 18650, pop this thing open, a little bit of solder, and this thing's good as new. So I have tools now that are serviceable, and as long as 18650s are on the market, I can continue to upgrade these and keep these things going until the motors die.